So I was watching a video earlier today by uh, StephBot about the evils of physics, or at least state university physics, because uh, the government steals taxes from people to pay for these um, theoreticians to just have this hobby um, that at the end of the day really has no application to human life, uh, except of course to build nuclear bombs and other um, extremely destructive and violent uh, war machines. Um, and you know, uh, he's, he's, he's got a point I guess, but that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to just try to see if, if it's true that physics is really worthless. Um, because, you know, if you uh, really look at it, theoretical physics today, it's pretty much the most metaphysical area of uh, of civilized thought, enlightened, rational, scientific thought, that's almost completely metaphysical. Um, and you may say, well, it's a special kind of metaphysical, it's mathematical, uh, and it's empirically grounded. You know, we can take measurements of the world somehow uh, in an objective way, and then pull those measurements into this imaginary world of mathematical symbols, where we can deduce uh, S with certainty uh, what their implications are. Um, the issue though, it seems to be uh, you know, having these certain mathematical equations, you know, the wave function, for example, um, E equals MC squared, um, you know, there's a potential for a grand unifying theory that somehow unites those two um, quantum theory and relativity. Um, what would it be certain knowledge of? You know, what would this mathematical certainty mean? What are we certain about? Certainly not reality. You know, reality meaning everything that there is, including us, our experience of reality. Uh, but, you know, let's just look at the metaphysical claims that physics is actually making. Uh, time, first of all, is um, completely an illusion, something we um, impose upon reality due to our very specific kind of consciousness, of, you know, clocks and calendars and history and, and all that. Uh, reality itself knows no time. Uh, there's only eternity, all of space and time. It's all here. Um, not now, this moment, but now as in the eternal moment. All of the past and all of the future, they're present somewhere, some when. Now. The eternal now. Um, that's what Einstein said. So, that's the metaphysical claim. How do we translate that into experience? How do we uh, not allow ourselves to be hypnotized by our calendars and our clocks and our watches and our measurements of time, our quantifications uh, of time, which that's basically what money is. It's a way of storing potential energy, energy to be used in the future. Um, How do we get out of that trap? Is there a way to? Because, you know, that's the question. If, if there is no way to get out of this trap, then physics is useless. We may as well just not know the truth uh, and just try to figure out our actual lives uh, as um, time-binding creatures. As uh, Korzybski said, we're just completely entranced by our language by our measurements and concepts and categories uh, and because of that we're cut off from reality but is this necessarily so? I mean is there no way to be in the moment? I mean you are in the moment you just don't know it that's what physics is telling you so I mean isn't that 
in a way it's like um, a spiritual calling it's the dharma being pronounced to you or offered to you uh, you're being offered a hand from you know these ivory towered physicists who have somehow mathematically deduced the truth uh, they don't really know necessarily what it means either but they're still they're offering it um, and what are we supposed to do with it what is physics for?